Hello, this is Betty Hurley Dasgupta and welcome to tutorial six, which is on Mahara groups. So let's go back into Mahara and I'm back at the dashboard page, which uh, you should be quite familiar with uh, by now. Um, and we're, um, we are going to uh, focus primarily on groups, but I, I do want to go back and talk to you a, a bit about sharing pages because uh, we'll be able to do that within our group as well. So <clears throat> if you click on portfolio, and now we're going to click on share. So within um, the, the share area uh, for any of your pages, as, as you can see, I've, I've got a fair number of pages um, right now. Um, you can click on edit access. So I'll click on one in which I have not shared yet. Note that if you don't have it shared with anyone that only you can see it. So this is definitely an important step in terms of actually publishing your work. So here it's fun math videos is, is the page. And as you can see, there are a wide range of choices. If you do put in public, what that means is that a Google search will bring it up. So you know, think about that when you um, uh, do public. Logged in users is as it would sound, or just your friends. You can share it with a group. So right from within here, you could share um, a page with a group. And you can also share with other um, users um, and groups so you can get even drill down to individuals. And under um, advanced options, I often allow copy. Um, and uh, comments, allow comments is the default. If you don't want to allow comments, you can remove that. And you can actually uh, put specific dates on sharing. So once we have everything we need, and I'm going to add for this one, uh, logged in users. And so let's go back and save. And you can see now on um, that, my fun uh, math videos, I have have allowed logged in users and copying is allowed. Now note there's another column here called secret URLs. You may create a page that you do want to share with someone but not the world and they don't have a Mahara account. You can click on that, get a URL, send it to people you want to, uh, to see it. And it will only be viewable um, by whoever you give that secret URL. So that's something, um, a, a kind of a neat thing to keep in mind. Well, let's now go to uh, groups, since uh, I said I would talk about groups in this tutorial. And um, you'll find in here your groups. You also can find your groups from within your profile page. In your profile page, it tells you which groups you're in. So let's enter it from there. So I have called the group for this workshop, the Sloan C. April Workshop. And this is our group. Now we're not going to be spending a lot of time in this group uh, during this workshop week because uh, you have uh, many other things to do. But this will be a place in which uh, I have put a couple of discussion items. And I hope you do at least explore it and um, uh, share with, with other people. I am going to make this so that I put each of you in as a member of the group so that um, this would actually be a good place to click on members. Right now it's just me. And um, you can then uh, look at uh, the profiles of other people in uh, this workshop and uh, friend them if, if you wish. So um, that's one use of this group. Also, I mentioned with the group, um, I have put in uh, two discussion items and they're called forums within Mahara. And so the first one is just first impressions. Um, uh, now that you've gone into Mahara just a little bit, um, what are your first impressions of Mahara? So go ahead and, and um, connect with that discussion. Um, you would click on that and then add a new topic to add your comment. Once you put in a new topic, you can either, uh, the next person can either uh, reply to that topic or add a new topic, uh, depending on whether you're starting um, a, a new idea or uh, responding to what someone had said earlier. Click on forums again to go back to forums. And then towards the end of the week, um, I'd like for you to um, then go to uh, now what? Uh, to get a sense of, of um, what you may be thinking about in terms of using uh, Mahara um, now that you've spent an intensive week uh, with it. And also with the whole idea of ePortfolios and how you uh, think you may uh, uh, be incorporating uh, some ePortfolio ideas into your work. There also is uh, pages 
uh, within a group. And these are pages that are specifically for the group. I've put one in here. Uh, you can, if you want, create a page. But remember, if you do that, that's just for the group and it stays within the group. Or you can copy a, a page. So you can go ahead and, and, um, and do some of that if you wish. If you want to share some of um, what you have already um, put in to the group, then this is where you would share or identify the sharing, similar to what we did for all of our files, but this is specifically for files shared with the group. And you can upload files uh, for the group, uh, which um, you may want to, to do if, if you have a particular thing you want the whole group to see. And I probably will uh, um, upload a few files to the group. So if you go in here, you will see some things that I, I have uploaded for you. So that gives you a, an idea of groups. Um, there are different kinds of groups in Mahara. Um, there are open groups. Anyone can start a group. Um, there also are closed uh, groups, control groups, and uh, the group you're in is controlled. Um, I, um, that way I could put you in. You didn't have to go through an added step of finding and joining this group. So um, that's another thing to uh, certainly explore within Mahara. Well, I thank you for listening to all of these videos, and I hope you are enjoying uh, your Mahara experience. And let's log out one more time.